take 2,000 engineering students from some of the world's top universities, throw in 80 bespoke racing cars, the Silverstone Grand Prix circuit, and some Honda F1 expertise, and you have the unique cocktail that is Formula Student. You must be delighted we've got people here from all over the world. I mean, it's really grown into quite something. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? It's, it's just grown from s small acorns. Uh, many years ago, I think in America, 25 years ago, there were four teams who said, we can build a better racing car than you can. That's grown to 140 entrants every year. Now we're at uh, over 80 running cars. It's just, just amazing. So it's almost like the ultimate bar challenge, isn't it? My racing car's faster than yours. It is a little bit, yeah. Uh, and for a student competition, for the, the, the young guys to go out there, design their cars, work out how to put it together, build it, test it, find out what's wrong with it. Um, it's just a, a great learning experience. So there's nothing else out there in education to, to test you in that way and put your, the theory into practice, which is what this is all about. Gary, you're one of the judges today. What, what sort of things have been impressing you so far? It's just the level of sophistication and technology that these guys have put into their cars. They've got sort of Formula One technology inside these small little cars, so it's just the, the level of sophistication is just quite mind-blowing what these guys have achieved. Um, even down to carbon fibre wheels, which in Formula One we're not allowed to have because of the rules, these people have actually got them, so uh, it's quite staggering the, the level of uh, competence that we're seeing, so it's quite impressive. And how much today, I know you're a judge today, but how much of today is also about some, spotting some of the stars of the future? Oh, quite right. There's always an ulterior motive, and one of the reasons we're here is that some of our best engineers have been through this programme. So, yeah, we're, we're on the lookout for talent. Matthias from Austria, fastest time so far. You must be delighted. Yeah, it was amazing. The, the team did a great job. The engine ran perfect, and so it was great. Already sounding like a Formula One driver. This is the acceleration test. Tell, take me through a little bit what you have to do. Um, you practice and just hit the fast time. That's all. So it was the best time we have ever driven, so we are all very happy about it. So you're undergraduate students. How long does it take to build a car like this, and does it get in the way of your rest of your work? <laughs> Yeah, that's difficult because we cannot uh, take out one semester as you can do it on university. We have to do our studies besides and yeah, it, it takes a lot of hours. You can say an average about 2,000 hours a person. But sh shouldn't students be in the bar? <laughs> yeah, they should. <laughs> I think we will go on Sunday to a bar <laughs> for a longer time. <laughs> You must be delighted that so many people have done Formula Student have gone on to, to join Formula One. I think Jensen's race engineer, Andrew Shevlin, is an ex-Formula student. Yeah, he, he was actually a colleague of mine at Leeds. He was involved in the very first one back in 1998. And he's, yeah, as you say, Jensen's race engineer. What's it take to win this competition? What's the sort of inside tip? Learn from your mistakes. That's got to be the key. Learn every year from what you did wrong, implement it, and, and get it sorted out.